Sup guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going over the best way to hippo on the new bridge map called Outpost. Out of the new maps that were released, I definitely think this was the most interesting one. It isn't too easy or too hard to score, and it has unique quirks that make the map compelling. One of these quirks is the uneven build limit. This doesn't have much impact on bridge gameplay, besides hippoing. Sadly, it drives people away from playing this map because it feels awkward and inconsistent to make a hippo on. But the thing is, it's actually not that bad. In this video, I'm going to be going over an easy and effective way to defend outposts with a simple two-layer hippo. So I first want to preface this by saying, unless you know exactly what you're doing, and are very fast at hippoing, it isn't really worth it to hippo this map in solo. It's only really effective in teams. So how are you supposed to hippo outposts? Well, the usual strategy of looking from the ceiling won't work, so you're going to have to start from the bottom and work your way up. So the first thing you want to do is face this block right here. Place three blocks, go up one, place another three, go to this block, place two blocks, go to one above that, and place another two blocks. So you're going to have a shape that looks like this. Then you want to turn and be facing right here, place two blocks, look here, and place three blocks. You then want to repeat that sequence three more times until it looks like this. Then you want to place six blocks here to fill this part in. Then you want to turn again and make this section two blocks higher. After that, place these blocks here to fill in this section. All that's left is to place these two blocks, and that's it. Now I'm going to show you again on the other side, except a little bit faster this time. So face here, and fill in this section. Turn, place these blocks, and repeat that three more times. Fill these blocks in, turn, and make this part two higher. Then fill this part in place the last two blocks, and there you go. If you want to, you can also add a ribbon here like so. So once you figure out how to do it, hippoing this map isn't too bad at all, and it can give you a pretty significant advantage over those who don't know how to. If you don't already know, the map I've been using is called Hippo Practice, and I'll leave a link in the description to the download of this map with the outpost hippo already set up. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions, and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, 